December 3rd, 2020. Well, the Trumps, the Trumps are, are under investigation for spending other people's money. Really? I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. There's gambling going on in the back there. There's gambling. I'm shocked. An investigation into bribes for pardons. And even going back to the uh, day one, I guess they were taking people's money from day one and spending it, on what, spending it on whatever they felt like it. See, the Trumps are arrogant. Of course there's going to be investigations into bribes for pardons, uh, that which is ongoing. Of course the establishment is going to go over these people with a fine-tooth comb because they're not even supposed to be there. The only reason they're there is because the whole damn country hated Hillary Clinton so badly that we would rather have a reality TV show clown in there than the Clintons again. That's how bad we hated the Clintons. Now, normally, normally a president never goes to jail for things like this because it would look bad on the empire. That's why there are layers and layers and layers of scumbags between the president and the criminals looking for freebies and pardons and whatever, whatever bribes they may be looking for. There's all these layers of scum, you know, the attorneys, layers and layers of these dirtbags. But here's the thing, Donald Trump and his clan, they cannot trust anybody, okay? Not one single person can they trust, because not only does America hate the Clintons, now, of course, America hates the Trumps. That's why Trump had his silly little sweatshop princess daughter and the 36-year-old slumlord as practically his only advisors. His inner circle was a couple of morons. Of course, that's why he lost. Please, don't make me laugh, QAnon. Were you blind to these two idiots? I mean, how could they not, how could the evangelicals and the QAnon freaks, how could they not see these two idiots right in front of their face? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, okay? So we have established that the Trumps cannot trust anybody. I hope we've got that established. And of course the establishment is going to go over them with a fine-tooth comb. You better not screw up. You better cross your T's and dot your I's. You better not do anything. Yeah, right. Try telling that to the arrogant, spoiled, narcissistic Trump clan. Yeah, you might as well tell Mike Tyson to stop smoking weed. (laughs) Good luck with that. Okay. So the Trumps thought, hey, Hillary and Bush and Obama, they sold everything but the kitchen sink. Why can't we? That's the problem with the Trumps. They thought that since they were there, they, they actually walked into the White House, that they had arrived and they could do anything wrong. <laughs> like I said, these Trumps, like I've always said, these Trumps just, you know, they're just not that bright. They don't understand the Medici. The Machiavelli, okay? They didn't study Medici. They didn't understand how Machiavelli screwed up. Machiavelli bet against the Medici. Bad move. Machiavelli paid for it the rest of his life. The Trumps. The Trumps bet against the modern-day Medici. Bad move. Bad move. So, of course, Somebody has to pay. When you make a bet against the Medici and you lose, okay, you better, like I say, don't do anything wrong. But these damn Trumps, they thought, hey, yeah, they got their hand out. Yeah, we'll give you a pardon. They got their hand out. Oh, yeah, just give us the money. We can, we can do anything. Just give us the money. That New York shit don't fly if you're not part of the establishment. They didn't understand that. You can do that stuff if you're part of the establishment. If you got the CIA backing you up, if you got the deep state backing you up, yeah, that stuff happened all the time. That gambling in the back room happens all the time, but they are part of the establishment. They got away with it. They were protected. The Trumps are not protected, and they must be pretty stupid. They must be arrogant morons. They're imbeciles if they thought they could get away with some illegal shit. I mean, come on. Seriously. 
That was the problem with Donald Trump the whole time. He never had a Machiavelli advising him. And better yet, he never, he never found a, a Medici to advise him. He had a 36-year-old slumlord and some 30-year-old sweatshop princess as his advisors. <laughs> Duh! What did you think was going to happen? Okay, enough of them. I grow tired of idiots. Okay, just a heads up on some current events. I made a couple videos about the, uh, the current events going on. One of them is over on my other channel, the Hidden Spotlight Treasures channel. I made an analysis review on the Queen's Gambit, the Netflix uh, new series out. About 66 million people have watched it. I got to say, I like it. I mean, I know there's some feminist stuff in there, it's liberal, but hey, if you forget about, if you take, if I can pass that, I can put that out of my brain, that stuff, and I focus just on the gambling and the game theory on it, I really thought it was a great series, and the main reason why it's a great th series is because who wrote the book? The guy by the name of Tevis, the guy who wrote the book, he actually wrote the book The Hustler. Now, The Hustler it's probably one of my favorite movies ever with Paul Newman because I'm, you know, I'm a gambler. I grew up uh, shooting pool the whole nine yards. I gamble on everything. So I, I like it. I uh, did a little analysis on there and um, I did another one. It's over on my poker channel. It's called PLO and Hold'em TOT. It's a channel that I usually just talk about poker and gambling. Uh, this one might be more up your alley. It covers, uh, I dive into the Vegas satanic occult and the latest Tony Shea burning candles and meeting his god Lucifer in hell. I don't know if you've heard about it, but the name of the video is called Vegas Occult Symbols Poker Trooper 97 OCD is which uh, OCD is obsessive compulsive disorder. The Queen's Gambit. I, I talk about a, little, a lot of stuff, still younger, but the story Tony Shea is, now, if you haven't heard about Tony Shea, in his candle sacrifice, and he died in the basement. But if you haven't heard about that, you probably need to watch that video. Okay, until next time, good luck.